Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday or whatever you celebrated this week, even if it was just life. I'm going to take a little break on this video from the media and the hoopla brought to you by our politicians and our cable news media, if you will, to bring you something that I think is pretty special. Well, it was to me anyway. This BS, this BS break actually has kind of made me feel a little better. Like when I was ignoring this circus known as the media before a lot of this utter chaos that's happening today even started. So I thought some of my fans out there in Cyberland might be interested in knowing a little bit more about me and maybe even interested in some gifts perhaps. So a little bit more about me. Of course, for those of you who haven't had the time to track me down all over the internet, and I am all over the internet, and have been for almost 25 years, if not more. But for the last 15 years or so, I've actually been a recycle artist. Uh, I had an Etsy shop where I sold everything from art and crafts that I made from recrafted and reclaimed vintage jewelry, uh, repurposed just about everything that I could think of, including uh, copper wires and etc to reclaimed, refurbished arts and jewelry making supplies. I couldn't always use everything that I uh, recycled, so I would sell that too. And it actually sold better than my art did. <laughs> uh, I also used to do live art and craft vending shows, so I actually have created quite a bit of inventory. But now, kind of bittersweetly, but necessary to move on with my life while preserving my health. Um, I've decided to go out of the recycle art and crafting business. Of course, this is for several reasons, including but not limited to my health, my change in directions um, of the business ventures that I'm taking into effect now, and my need to focus more on less of my interests. Uh, I have so many unfinished projects stuffed into my closets, it's not even funny. There are more reasons, but I don't want to turn this video into a documentary. So here's what I'm going to do. Since I need funds to grow this channel and my goal of turning this channel into a live call-in talk show, I'm going to offer my original works and trinkets to my supporters. Here's how it'll work. If you donate to me at the link below, or if you send me something to my P.O. box below, uh, and your mailing address is included uh, in your information, I will send one of my original creations to you. Uh, the item, of course, will depend upon uh, the amount of each donations. I actually have different sized and different uh, priced items that actually will work good for something like this. So let me show you some examples of what you might possibly get in your gift from me for your donation. Okay, what you're seeing here first are domed refrigerator magnets. They're about an inch and a half to two inches in diameter. Uh, these were all, these always went like hotcakes on my Halloween. Uh, craft shows and ven vendor uh, excursions. Uh, these will be uh, sent out to you for uh, any donation of $5 up to $10. And I've got more for up to $10, but I've got a lot of $5 items. So, uh, like I say, these are domed refrigerator magnets. And these will come to you for a donation of $5, between $5 and 
Actually, five dollars and nine ninety nine. Up next are flat refrigerator magnets with a vintage horror theme. Uh, these, are, these actually are all made with the backs of vintage and reclaimed watch, it, watch cases or watches. So if you look on the back of these when you get it, you'll see uh, probably a brand name or something of an old watch that you may remember that your grandma had or something. But these are also for a, any donation uh, five dollars to nine ninety nine. Here are a couple of trinket dishes that I reproduced into these cuties. These are also $5 to $9.99. These are some small sun catchers. They will also be offered for $5 to $9.99. These here are some large sun catchers, about four to five inches in diameter. These will start off at $10 to $15 or $14.99. Puppy paw pendants or pins, also starting at ten dollars or fourteen ninety nine. Some Christmas card ornaments, also about three to four inches in diameter, also ten dollars to fourteen ninety nine. How about some ginormous insect paperweights? These will be starting at $15 to $19.99. These are all made with real, used to be live insects encased in a tomb of epoxy for to live forever. These again start at $15 all the way to $19.99. Here we have some portable battery operated light strings. I made the light covers with reproduced crystals, vintage crystals. These will start at $20 to $29.99. Here are a few examples of my reclaimed jewelry pieces. I have plenty more, but it would take over an hour to show them all to you. These will also be starting at $20 to $29.99.
Next up are some works of art from recycled jewelry that will start at $30 to $49.99. And last but not least, some larger works of reclaimed jewelry and art for $50. Uh, now to begin with, you can ask for certain items that you see in this video. You can request them, but please be aware that this is on a first come first serve basis and for the most part, I probably will have to choose which item to send to you. Um, I'll try my very best to send you something that I know that you'll like, even though I don't really know you that well. I'm going to be basing it on your name and your address. Uh, you can tell me something about yourself if you'd like. But uh, you can always, if you don't like what I send you, you can always gift it uh, or donate it to your favorite charity. Uh, in fact, a lot, of chari a lot of charities love to be able to sell original art pieces and little uh, odd trinkets. In fact, the donors usually are kind of eccentric anyway. So they like strange things like that and they're willing to give money for them. Believe me, I used to donate all my, a lot of my original pieces to all kinds of benefits and fun, fundraisers, uh, especially when we would do Medi Bennies for fellow musicians. They loved artwork, no matter what it was. Uh, children and veterans. Now, I'm going to let you know that all the items that you're seeing on this video today are ready to ship. Uh, and they've all been made by yours truly. I have crafted every one of them by these hands. <laughs> now, if there's something that you see that you might want and it's gone already, I still will accept custom work, but the prices are gonna vary quite a bit uh, from what you're seeing here. And if you do want a custom order, please contact me at my email address in the um, about section, in my about section. So if you enjoy my work here on YouTube and you would like to see me continue to grow so that you can let the world know what you heard as well as I on my live call-in talk show, please, the best thing you can do is share this video, share my videos, share them all over the place as much as you can. Uh, but of course, I would also appreciate a like, a comment, a subscription, and of course, the ultimate would be a donation. And now, while supplies last, you will get an original, one-of-a-kind piece of art for a gift. Everything you see in this video, like I said, was again, was handmade by yours truly. Now, I'm sorry about this part, but this is a stipulation I'm going to have to make. Shipping is going to be free, but I can only do it in the United States. I'm sorry about that, but frankly, I can't really afford this shipping uh, for overseas or out of the country. Uh, and I used to do it a lot. I used to do international shipping a lot, but nine out of 10 times, there was always some kind of a problem. Either the package was so small that it never got to its destination, or in the case of Canada, they would always charge the customer double in customs what they even paid for the item and the shipping itself so i gave up on international shipping i'm very sorry i might pick it up at some other time or if there's some way that you can have me send it to a friend of yours here and maybe have them send it to you that way uh, that wouldn't be a problem either but again every address if the address is not in the united states for your donations i'm sorry i can't send you anything I'm, I apologize for that, but international shipping for me has never been uh, a lucky subject, so I try to avoid it. So once again, please make sure you share this and um, hit the notification bell so you don't miss my Saturday videos. Also too, if I start getting more 
uh, donations and uh, more funding, I will actually be able to do more videos per week as well. So if you enjoy my work, and actually, I enjoy doing this. However, I can't, you know, nobody, nobody, uh, nobody eats for free, I guess you could say. <laughs> So once again, thank you once again for joining me on my little acre of the internet today. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Until next time.